Coaches, welcome back to the 92 Mesh Group Chalk Talk. Uh, this is Coach George Coltart from North Carolina, and today we're going to talk about one of our favorite air raid run plays, and that's the dart or tackle wrap. Um, for several years, the dart was, was kind of our, our number one run play. Um, we had a really a um, athletic quarterback who ran pretty well um, and also had a pretty good tailback who was more of a gap runner. Than a, uh, than a zone back. And so dart was really, really good to us. Now we run a little bit more counter than we do dart these days, but dart can be kind of a, an adjustment to counter. If you're having a hard time, you know, back blocking to the end, um, you can, you know, do that, uh, run the wrap and, and kind of get the same look. And, and for us, when we run dart, the one thing that you need to understand, there's a basic rule. And, and we're gonna double team ones, and base threes. And, and that rule holds true no matter what you see defensively. So we'll double team all ones and base all threes. And, and so in this instance here, let's say, you know, we have a 31. We want to try to run that to the A-gap bubble. And, and so we're going to run dart left here. So we'll base that three. We'll double team this guy to the backside. The play side tackle always stays on. And then the backside tackle will wrap, okay? And then, of course, we give it to the tailback here, and he hits it up hard. Now, same blocking scheme, move the back over on this side, flash fake him across, quarterback keeps it, comes downhill. So you have two run plays, one blocking scheme. That's very important when you're talking about the air raid because of the importance of reps. You know, obviously, we don't want to... Uh, to, to put too much in that we can't practice. And, you know, we want our old line guys to really work pass blocking as much as they do run blocking. So the reps are really, really important in this situation. Um, I was in a, um, in, in, in a group chat last night and some guys were talking about running dart, but they said, hey, can we run dart if we run counter? Um, because, you know, we're already running counter and we don't want to add another run. And I said, well, if you think about it like an adjustment, then it really isn't another run because all you're doing now is telling the guard to base versus, um, you know, doing the, um, you know, whole new running play and versus pulling and kicking. So let's say we're going to run the same thing back this way. And in this situation, we'll treat that four like a three. And we'll base here. We'll get a tight call from the play side guard just to or tackle just to let him know that we got a head up player here and it'll hit a little bit harder downhill. Now, the overhang players, the way that you deal with those guys is, is basically with your RPO scheme, whether it be a, um, a pass or slant in there or something of that nature or just a bubble screen or something like that. Hopefully this kind of gives you some ideas of how we run tackle wrap. Like I said, it's always been one of our better um, running plays. Um, join the Google Classroom. We'll put some clips up there for you to look at here in the next day or two. And just always remember, spin it to win.